Alright guys, how you doing? It's CK here and welcome back to GTA Online. Today, as I'm sure you can see, we are going to be testing out the Brigade. I believe it's called the MTL Brigade. It essentially is an armoured up freaking garbage truck in my opinion. And it is badass. It is completely badass. It's a little bit mucky right now because I was kind of mucking around with it earlier on but Look at this, you can actually jump on the top of it and everything, but today what we're going to do is kind of similar to what we've done with the Benefactor XLS. Take it on a proper off-roady test and everything. Holy shit, that guy came in fast there. Bloody hell, Huracan. Uh, so we're here at the off-roady race circuit, and then we're going to be tackling the big dog, Mount Chiliad, which I'm kind of crapping myself at because this isn't exactly the smallest vehicle in the game, is it? It's not exactly a Peel 45. Or a Pew 55, or whatever the hell it's called. Pew, Pew P50, that's it. <laughs> oh god, there's another one. This is going to be a bit of a challenge now. Bloody hell now. The great thing about this is, I never expected this, right? Watch this. It is really similar to the AMG 6x6 because the back four wheels actually have power going to them. So technically it's four wheel drive, but in a very, very weird way. <laughs> be mental if it was six wheel drive though. Holy moly, it might be, it might be, you never know. Holy shit! Okay, okay. I need to watch myself now because this thing, I'm not too sure about toppling over, but he could have proved me wrong there. It looks like it does want to topple over, oh my god. Jesus Christ. But the one thing that I do like about this car when I was driving it along from the office, the brakes are astonishing. I mean, when you look at this thing, you would think brakes. That isn't something you would expect to see being a plus point for this thing, but it is actually. Wait till we get out on the road because they stop you on a dime, man. They stop you on a dime, but it seems at home here and I was expecting it to be a lot slower, but it isn't. It's actually. Oh god, we're gonna hit the freaking top of that. Oh, oh it was two wheeled action there. Holy shit. Good, good, good driving there, Copy J. Holy shit. We do have a little bit of a turning issue. That is, <laughs> that is one of the main things that you can see. Koenigsegg has died. Oh god. I just... <laughs> scraped this along the ground there for him. I feel sorry for it, but yet again, it is a big armoured freaking thing. It can handle it. I think VTEC kicked in back there. Holy shit, did you see the power burst? It really moody, but let's check out the interior. Oh my god. Look at this. Can we see in the back? No, it's all full leather and everything. God damn it. It would be really cool if this was like a proper truck. You know what I mean? Like American Truck Simulator with like a bed in the back. But with the whole thing in the back, I don't know what you could put in there. You could basically have a, like a mini house. You know what I mean? A mini armoured house. Oh shit. I'm going the wrong way here. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to go under here if we can fit under here. That's the thing. I mean, it's not the fastest lap. Oh shit, we can't. Well, he managed to fit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, that's it. Jesus Christ, but yeah, it's not the fastest lap, but it is one of the most fun, dare I say it. Because that's the thing, right, seeing Forza and GTA and that. See some of the slow cars, I was reading a comment like this the other day, uh, saying about me, like, I like all the cars and it's good that you don't just drive, like, um, like all the big supercars and everything. I mean... I like the big supercars as much as anyone else, right, but you can find hidden gems in some of the small cars. For example, the Panto, that thing is really, really fun to drive, and also the Rhapsody as well. That's quite fun, even though it is kind of based on an AMC Pacer. It's pretty fun, but anyway, I think it survived its ordeal on the rally track. Quite slow, but still, it's pretty damn fun to actually do, so we're going to make our way over to Mount Chiliad and... Hope for the best to not die. Prius! Kill the Prius! Freaking murder it! We've got enough armor and everything to actually properly destroy this thing. Sorry for getting sidetracked, guys, but whenever you see it, you must kill it. Can they fucking run over this thing? <laughs> Look at them, they're supporting it and everything. Like, go on, man! Kill the Prius! Is there actually anyone in that? Either is. That's what you get for buying a Prius! Bloody idiots! What were you thinking? Oh my god, is that on fire already? Is it? Is it just me? I, th I thought I seen flames there. Through the fire and the flames, the Prius carries on. 
As much as I don't want to hear that, the Prius does carry on. <laughs> it's the little battering man. We're going to leave it. We're going to leave it right now. So it's, it's had enough torture. I mean, it never has enough torture. I got a message. I got a message. <laughs> Prius! Kill the Prius! <laughs> yeah. Good to see you got the main mindset, man. Kill the Prius. And I just spat right over my microphone when I said that. Just like, Prius. 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 Believe, 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 believe. That's all, folks. That's all, man. But I want to thank you guys for uh, 200 followers on Car Throttle. That's really cool. We're actually over that. It's something like 229 now. I'm on there all the time and everything. It's really, really funny to see all the memes and everything on Car Throttle. But if you do want to follow me on like Facebook, Twitter, and that, uh, or Instagram, as I say, Car Throttle, then the links are in the description. I'm literally on there every single day. So I've got the notifications on my phone if you guys leave me a message or something. Holy shit. Holy shit, we nearly ran into that thing. Because uh, I always, I try my best to answer his back, and you know that if you've been in the comments section. And just thanks for all the comments as well. <laughs> I mean, I, I know I know, I thank you guys a lot, but I feel as if when you're a YouTuber, you have to do that. If you know what I mean? I mean, you shouldn't have to, you should want to. If you know what I mean? Because you guys are my fans, although I don't really like calling you my fans, you're more my family. If you know what I mean? Because I've, I know this is going to sound tragic, but I've not got many friends outside of YouTube. Friend! you got a YouTube friend! <laughs> Name that reference. Name that reference. I know it's not YouTube friend, but football friend or something like that. Fuck, I miss that show so much. I'll just tell you, it's them between us. It's them between us, but yeah, um, so we're here at Mount Chiliad. Uh, I'm, I, don't, I don't know what to make of this thing. It's going to start raining in a little second. Just like it has done in Scotland. I mean, there goes the traditional two weeks of summer in Scotland. That's what we get. It's like two weeks and then back to shitty, shitty rain. But I'm kind of glad in some way because, you know, when I, I fucking feel sorry for you guys in America, right? But especially in California or um, like Colorado and some shit. But <sighs> well, Florida, I should say, because Florida was boiling when I went there. I went to Disneyland when I was, when I was like 10 with my mom and my stepdad. And um, it was basically like sticking your head in a fucking oven. That's what it was like. It's like, <laughs> get me out of here. Clothes was sticking to you and everything. I'm like, Ugh, get me out. But that is essentially the same thing that was happening. I was just watching stuff on my, my laptop and everything. I mean, if you don't know my daily routine, I get up for about nine o'clock. Well, not nine o'clock, but about eight o'clock. Go up to the office for about nine, have my breakfast and everything in here, and then start recording for about half nine, ten. Um, and then, so, uh, then basically recording, blah, 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 and shit like that, edit, and then go back home at about 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, or something like that, and then just chill out, but when I am chilling out over the past few days, it has been boiling, so I've literally been sticking to my bed, it is fucking boiling, it's so annoying, but I'm really surprised this thing's making it up here, holy shit. Wow, man, I'm sure this must be six wheel drive, man. It must be. Because the overall weight, right, this is where it's going to get a wee bit tricky here. Oh, shit, that's not what I want to see. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on, big boy. <laughs> He's like, oh, don't rush me. I'll do it at my own time. I'll do it when I can get up there myself. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. No, 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 no. Oh, man, you give me a vague whiff of hope there. Come on, really? <laughs> you have to do this to me today, game, don't you? You have to do this to me today. Can we make it back up here? I believe in you. This thing should have the torque to do it. Nope, 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 nope. Bugger it, I'll need to, rock, I'll need to wrap back around. So after what felt like six years, we've actually got this thing freaking turned around again. I mean, the turning circle is probably the size of the moon. So, this is probably the hardest freaking corner on this actual hill or mountain for this thing because it has a kink to the right. And considering the width of this thing, I'm not too sure if it's going to make it up. Oh my god, come on. Come on. No. Oh, I'm going to be here for a while, guys. I've got a funny feeling. Unless I try and just run it up. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes, that just shows you what a little bit of power can do for you. Holy flamboli. I'm not even sure if that's a word. 
my god. Oh god. <laughs> He's freaking archaeo that hiker. And it's Conan Zig! CC, don't you fucking dare. Holy shit. Don't get distracted by John Cena, Frank. Don't get distracted by John Cena. I know he's got amazing, amazing muscles, but come on, don't get distracted. You're driving a big fucking muscly van right here. That shouldn't distract you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is petrifying driving this thing up here. Not in terms of speed, but for like... I, I, I don't even know how to sum it up. It's just like the width of the thing and the actual length. And just the numbest steering on the land. Probably, I mean, look at that. It doesn't even change direction when you do that. It's like the slowest steering response I've ever driven in a car. Oh, God. At least this bit is actually quite smooth. Making, oh, God. Come on. Let's, let's stop this here. Don't stop me now. I'm trying to get the brickade. I'm actually Come on. Oh, we need a little bit of a donut here. Do not forsake me, oh my darling. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Alright, okay, everyone left because I'm apparently so shit at this. <laughs> Don't leave me! Help me! There we go, that's it. Yes. More like it. I'm doing like 18 point turns here. I probably had to back up like freaking five times. I've cut that out of the video, but. Yeah, I wasn't exactly the easiest thing. Hi, hi. It wasn't exactly the easiest thing to get this turn back round. Oh I'm finding hidden bumps that I don't normally find when I normally go up Mount Chile. I had the normal cars. Wait, okay, this is <laughs> a little bit of a donut's going to be called here. Thank you very much. There we go. This is fucking extreme off roading to the core here, guys. Or mountain climbing, I should say. Fucking Tomcat eat this shit. <laughs> That's quite a good challenge, mate. If you want to try and get this car up here, I don't really want a car, um, a van then, definitely do it. Oh shit. <laughs> right, used to, it's not exactly a great time to be holding up a big freaking 10 ton truck. We're on the narrows, the narrows? The narrows, so. We're on the most narrows bit of this freaking mountain. Get out of the way. Thank you very much. Ugh. But, yeah, I don't know if you've seen this story floating about the internet, guys, but Chris Evans, you know, the, the new host of Top Gear, um, was apparently drinking in the street after finding out the ratings dropped from the first episode. Now, I, I don't know what to think here, because I kind of seen that coming. Not him drinking in the street, but I, I seen the, the viewers going to be cut in half or something. I even said that in my first reaction video, that the, the, the viewers were going to drop down, but um, I don't know what he's going to be like in tonight's episode. It's going to be a bit weird seeing him like after all the pictures and everything. Is he was sitting drinking a glass of wine just outside his home or something. Oh my god, the bumper's gonna fall off. Oh! But at the same time, I do kind of get him, if you know what I mean. I feel sorry for him a little bit as a human being after all, but at the same time, I, I could have said to him, well, you kind of seen this coming, mate. You kind of seen this coming. Wait, what the fuck's going on here? I'm trying to get up here. Get on up. Get on up. This is just like a donut machine today. We need freaking. Alright, this isn't <laughs> this isn't gonna make up here. Come on, you son of a bitch. It's just the front end is dragging off of it. But maybe if we come in at an angle. Like this or something. I think that might do it. Yes! There we go. Yeah, you don't you don't need to come up to Mount Chiliad to see amazing sights anymore. I am oh god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm the life of the party now, but I'm on sideways. I'm on sideways, I'm on my side, you fucking idiot. There we go. Yes, there we are. <laughs> We've made it to the top. And we're never ever gonna stop. One hop. There we go. Look at that. The brigade has made it to the top of Mount Chiliad. Now we might be a little bit battered and bruised, but I think we're gonna give this thing a try going down the mountain. Not the way we done it in the benefactor, because that was sheer suicide, but actually following the path this time. Don't want to roly poly oly yet again. Oh god. Jesus, I can't go over this thing. How actual heavy it feels. Probably one of the, the most prime examples of like feeling the weight through the steering in the game. It's like a freaking tank, man. I mean, I don't even think the tanks weigh as much as this. I might be wrong, but I don't think they do. Oh my god! <laughs> Any sort of speed in this thing makes you crap yourself. It's a car which encourages you to drive slow, especially in this freaking 
terrain. I don't know where I'm going. Oh my god. Right, there's two ways we can go down here. To the left, which looks like it's got a big jump, or to the right, which might be a little bit of a shorter way, but it looks a bit more steep and vertical. What the fuck is it with people trying to blow and interrupt my video shit again? Seriously, I just got a phone call. I thought I put the thing on silent, so apologies, guys. Um, I think we'll go for... Oh, I'm still fucking deciding here. We'll go for the right. Okay. Because I normally go for the left one. But I've never been down this one before, I don't think. Oh, 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 God. Oh, Jesus. That was kind of like a heart in your mouth moment there. You know when it's like, you, <laughs> do you know the, do you know the way to sum that up? It's when something's slipping out your hands, something heavy slipping out your hands, and you're like, oh shit, oh god, someone grab it, someone grab it, please, please, like that. It's that sort of panic. And you're like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. But I might have been better going the other way, because this bit has a lot of these tiny bits here, when you're nearly on two wheels. What's this like in first person? Oh my god. That's all I'm saying in this video. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm like so on the brakes you cannot believe. I'm not going to chance it. I'm not going to chance it. Any other day I would normally chance it, but with that, with this fucking thing, I ain't going to go over the jump. I ain't going to do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. I'm so fancy. You already knew. That is so old, man. Why am I still singing that? No, no. There we go. The freaking hippo has beached. No, 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 no. It's like that freaking cat on Vine. It's just getting dragged around by its leash. It's like, no, I am not giving two fucks today. I am lying down. I am lazy as fuck. It's a Sunday. Why are you taking me mountain climbing on a Sunday, EK? You crazy bastard. You crazy son of a bitch. Thought you were meant to be relaxing on a Sunday. I was relaxing on a Sunday. But then you pulled me out and then I went mountain climbing. That's not even the words of that song. But fuck it. Freestyling, bitch. Freestyling, bitch. It looks a little bit more smooth sailing now. I'll eat them words in a little second. Oh, God. I believe I can fly. I believe I can tumble. Or should I say, I believe I can die. I believe I can touch the ground. And yet again, it's went into cat mode. Not a really successful descent of Mount Chiliad there, Prius. Prius, this is the one thing that can only make me happier after this. Prius, come back here. Oh God, the Prius used its powers. No, he used its deflecting powers. It just fucking put me back onto a blooming farmer's field. It's like, don't you destroy my crops, big boy. Get back on the road with your armored truck. Kill that Prius for me. I'll give you 15 bucks if you do it. There we go, man. There you go. Come back. Get your 15 bucks. That's fine, mate. I don't really need my 15 bucks. I've got enough pleasure just fucking killing this thing. Oh, that's all right, man. That's good. That's good. I, I like the way you think. I like your style. I like your style. Getting rid of all those hybrid shits and shit like that. Although the McLaren P1 and all the fucking supercars and shit like that, it's not bad. Just like the, the shitty hybrids. Get rid of them. Definitely. If that Sand King can help you out as well, that would... What the fuck am I saying, seriously? <laughs> just ignore me when I do that, guys. Just ignore me. I'm just... I'm just gonna... Oh my god! You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals. Let's do it like we do it on the Discovery Channel. I'm go... Oh my... Is this fucking riding the pre... Not, not literally riding the priest. I mean, like, freaking hovering on it. Holy moly! Now that is what you called Stance Nation, yo. Or Stance Hybrid Nation. Not very nice looking, but still. It is slammed like fuck. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to round it off here today with this crazy, crazy MTL. It's crazy not in terms of performance, but crazy in terms of sheer dominance on the land. Uh, well, unless you're coming downhill where the land kind of dominates it. So move out of the way, mate. Sorry, I thought you were a fucking hay bale shit like that. The fuck, but anyway, if you have enjoyed this one, guys, uh, then a like is always appreciated, as you'll know. Sub to the channel if you are brand new, and let me know what you make of this crazy contraption. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's my favourite, I don't think it is. 
Uh, it's probably my second least favourite of the pack because it is so freaking hard to drive. Um, but, yeah, it's not a bad thing. Oh my god, it looks so freaking stupid. Hello, Phantom19 and your Reaper. Do you like this thing? He's like, shit, I better get out of the way. <laughs> Luckily, it's in passive mode. I ain't like that, though. Uh, can we park in there? Can we seriously park in here? I think we can, can we? Oh, we can't. Oh, come on, please. Please. Ah, why? No, son of a bitch, but it does actually give us quite a good passage up to that roof. <laughs> See, this thing is useful for something. If you've got a broken tile or some shit, you can easily use this thing as a ramp to go up to the top of a roof. This thing is mouldy as fuck, though. Holy crap. But anyway, me and Mr. Spider Raccoon are going to have some more fun in that thing right now. But we'll see you later, guys. Bye bye. Thanks a lot for watching again, guys. If you want to check out some more content from me regarding the Finance and Family DLC, then click the two boxes above.